Well, we have a situation in these properties that this um, uh, pipe, the sewer line, is broken, is damaged. It's a cast iron pipe, and you know now it's time to to remove it because it's you know it's too old and it's cracked up on the bottom. So um, we have over here a four-inch pipe. This is PVC pipe, uh, PVC pipe, and here is a cast iron pipe. As you see, we have a vertical part that we need want to replace as well, and also we want to take this um, piping from further down the, the the area where it goes to the city. So um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't use water and all the stuff while you're working, obviously, at least in the in the property. And let's start by dismounting all this thing. I show you how. Dig the uh, sewer line as much as possible. Um, you want to maybe flush it a couple of times before you work on it so you avoid any type of solids inside the sewer line, if you know what I mean. Um, you can see that it's dripping. I intentionally, I put some sort of, a, um, you know, a clean air on it so it doesn't smell that bad. But you want to go ahead and, and cut uh, clean as much as possible and take as much as you can in this case now that you're doing that job. Okay, with the metal cutting blade, you want to go ahead and, and cut the pipe nice, try to make uh, cuts as straight as possible in a section that doesn't have um, a lot of corrosion and you know, make sure that all those areas are nice and clean and straight so you can actually put the coupling and a new PVC pipe. Um, what we're going to use to repair or make this transition are this type of couplings. These couplings are designed as a transition coupling in between um, you know, the cast iron pipe, which kind of specifies there as a CI to plastic or PVC, so um, that's what it is that we're gonna use that in all of them. This thing comes with nuts, so you gotta find like a nut driver. Um, there are some nut drivers that are designed to uh, maintain this pressure, so you don't actually break your coupling. If you can find it, will be great. That's what we're gonna use. All right. So we're gonna do that in every transition that we have around the the area. Um, as you work with your new transition to PVC, you wanna make sure that. Uh, you go ahead and clean your pipes and every joint properly. After that, we're going to use in this case, we have this heavy duty PVC cement. You can use a regular standard PVC cement. This is not for pressure. So um, that's it. Um, let's continue. Now you can see the new line all the way toward the front of the house. Um, you know, all the, the stuff are well installed and properly. Uh, well, it has a, the, enough inclination and everything so you don't have no more rotted pipes leaking into your house with all the sewer nasty line. Anyway, I'm going to give you some uh, explanation about some of the stuff that we use again, just to kind of clarify some things. And pretty much it, since we're working on their house, it's kind of hard to film over here right now. All right, now you saw what we were doing downstairs um, in this property. It's a, it's a messy job. Uh, but... Uh, very important is that you get the right couplings to to be able to transition from one one type of pipe to another one. Use really good material to adhesives and primers, especially when you're working with with uh, PVC. Uh, what else can I say? Obviously, secure. Make sure that the water has the inclination away from from the property and towards the the main sewer line, whatever you have, a septic tank or or, or city sewer or whatever it is. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. So just again, be careful. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe if you are. Thank you as always. Uh, I'll show you some more videos about how to work with PVC and stuff like that later. All right? Have fun. Take care.